Hey string players, this is Allie back with String Players Worship. We're going to be talking about bass lines again today, and today we're going to be adding the fifth to the bass line. And what that does is just adds a fuller, more interesting sound, and it gives us more volume, which especially as cellists are always looking for more volume to be heard in the band. Um, so since our strings, at least violin, viola, cello strings, are tuned in fifths, playing in fifths basically means doing a double stop, barring across the string. Uh, for violins and violas, it's going to be a little easier because your strings are closer together, so just make sure you're pressing down two strings at once. For bass players, what this means, since you're tuned in fourths, you're going to have to change your fingering, but you might find that A, you already have enough volume, and B, uh, just playing double stops might muddy up the sound more than you're looking for, so just experiment and see what you, would, see what you think and see what the band thinks. Um, so some tips for playing barring across the string for cellos. Um, we don't want to hurt ourselves, so I know that it takes some time to work up those muscles. So if you're playing like a three, make sure that your second finger is lending support right there. If you have to play pinky, you know, give it a lot of support. Um, otherwise, try to shift and not play with the pinky because it's the weaker digit. Um, so we're going to be playing Sweetly Broken, um, A, E, F sharp, D again, so we know the the notes for the bass line. So we're going to be adding the double stop of the string above. So A, E um, is three, barring across the string. Since we're already playing an extension and I don't want to play pinky, I'm going to shift. So I'm going to play first finger on E. The double stop B above, and then to get to the F sharp and C sharp, you just put your third finger down. And then back to D. Intonation is tricky when you're barring your fingers across the string, so I like to use open strings to practice. And then, um, so I'm doing a D and A so I can check the A string too. Another thing you can use to your advantage is if you're playing in tune, your open strings are going to ring. If you're playing um, a D and an A, you should see your open strings ring in sympathy with them. Uh, another tip is that I usually find that um, I have to pivot a little bit on my different strings and come at a different with a different angle. Just um, play around, experiment, and um, it's really important to play in tune, obviously, otherwise people aren't going to want to listen to it. Um, another thing to make sure you're not hurting yourself is that use the weight of your arm. Think of your elbow as being heavy to get those strings down. Okay, so we're going to be playing Sweetly Broken on this rhythm. once so I can show you where the shift is. Um, thankfully there's a really good spot for the shift. Um, so just listen this first time. To the cross I look. To the cross I go. Shift. Of it's something I do deep. Of it's work I do sleep. Okay so let's try that together. Find your A and E. Okay, ready? To the cross I look. To the cross I go. Shift. Of its swing I do drink. Of its work I do sing. For my Savior. practice that. You can re rewind the video and practice along with me if you want to. Um, please let me know if there's anything I can do for you. I'd love to help you guys out and do any research or videos I can in response. And yeah, keep practicing. Have a great day. God bless.